expires March 19th, 2024. Because I better eat them. Been in here a while. Damn, it makes your teeth hurt. Damn. I, I ate some a minute ago. Damn. Um, I haven't really done anything. It's already 5 o'clock. I haven't really done much on that. I got that video out. That took a while. And then, uh, it was 93 out already today. Sucks. That's gonna, I might have to change my schedule around here pretty soon. It's just, it's just too hot to work. Um, or, you can do it. It's just miserable. But I prefer not to if I can do it at night or early morning or whatever. The other thing, though, is with that editing software I have, which just automatically renewed, so <laughs> I paid for it. Not that I wanted to, but I wasn't really paying attention, and they automatically re-upped it. Anyways, uh, that seems to work a lot better at night, like in the middle of the night, because it's, I guess, cloud-based. I guess that's the reason why. Um, I've tried it during the day, and it just freezes so much easier, so... I guess it's because there's more people on it during the day, but anyway, I'll get it figured out. I'm gonna, right now I'm on my way to Harbor Freight. I'm gonna see how many cans of that bedliner stuff they have. Because now that I'm not doing the vinyl on certain areas, I'm gonna need more of that stuff. So, uh, hopefully, they have three or four cans. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this. I don't know if you can see it all the way down there. All the way to the mountain, pretty much. Jeez. Where's all these sidewalk sales I hear about? I don't I never see them. Well, there's another 50 bucks. It was actually only 48 and change, but you know, I like to round up. It's already cooled off a little bit too. Oh man, focus. I was just looking at this. I got this door put back together and I spent a little time cleaning this up and now it doesn't match. It needs to be black. Look at, look at how bad that looks. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have painted that while, while it was out of the car. This sucks. I was trying to race the sun. I really wanted to get this like corner section done and, and tape it off and hit it just to see what it's gonna look like. But I ran out of time. I think it's going to look pretty cool though. Well, it's 90 degrees out. Uh, <laughs> it's a little too hot to be out here, like, pulling doors off. I mean, it's doable, but I don't know. I, I pulled the Sammy in the garage. Hopefully there's enough room to open the door and pull the door off. But I kind of wanted to paint these and get them on today. But I still got to sand this one, so I'm going to do that real quick um, so that can be drying while I'm pulling off all the hardware and everything over here. Hopefully, don't want to jinx it, but I'm hoping I can get that door done today. We'll see how it goes.
This is so crazy. This thing was, you know, they say good till the last drop or whatever. I was going, uh, Bo was watching me, neither of us could believe it. It was going and going and going, and there was like barely anything at all, and it was still spraying perfectly. You know how some cans, they start going crappy, like you still got like a quarter of a can, and you're like, well, that's a waste of like $3 or whatever, because I can't even, it's still there, but I can't get it out. Wow, this stuff, I don't know if it was just this can or if they're all like that, but that was, that was pretty impressive. Alrighty, so this is Bo's mom's forerunner, and it blew, a, we were screwing with this last week. What happened? It blew the... Um, yeah, I was just making a sharp turn after it sat for a long time, and I think it blew the power steering line cracked. It was so old. Yeah, we couldn't tell where it was leaking from at first, and then finally saw a little... Weak and Where is it? Is it cracked right there? Yeah, see... Uh, yep. It was just seeping through. We were lucky because we were thinking maybe it was a pump or... Anyway, it's kind of a pain in the butt. One of us was underneath, one was on top, and that was, uh... I actually had some other footage. I couldn't fit it in the video, though, but <laughs> when, when the hose came off, that's when it flung oil everywhere, right? Yeah. Got all over me, all over the vacuum, all over him, and everything. Oh, all your so, tools. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna try to replace this. Hopefully it goes smooth. What do you think? A little longer? Yeah. Use it. We got 10 steps. He's got these big old, he's got a bunch of HVAC tools and stuff. Is that what that came on? Yeah. We'll see if this will do it. Uh, I don't see why not. Yep. Oh, wow. That, that was like, easy. Like scissors <laughs> cutting paper. Okay. Did it go? Yep. Oh, sweet. No. Oh, that was too easy. Yeah. Have you thought about working on Suzuki Samurais at all? Oh, I considered it till I saw you doing it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that went easy. That's that. So. Usually it's harder to put stuff back on there than it is to take it off. We right. struggled taking it off. So now, Had to get the little hook tool, ooh, put it yeah. under the rim of the. I might have made that a little, little long, didn't I? Oh, we can always cut it. Um, you want me to hop under there and? If I can get it from the top, I will. Yeah, I think if I can. God, that looks really long. I wonder if I should yank it off and <laughs> watch it not go back on as easy as it. Or if I just pull it yeah. straight up. How long? Where would we need to? Oh man, how do you get your damn hand in there? Okay. Look at <laughs> okay, so right about where the clamp is right now is uh, where it needs to be cut, basically. Basically. I mean, look, but I, I only... I know, that is weird. Let's, let me get my hand there. I'll pull it straight up and leave it attached here, and I bet I can cut okay. it. Okay. That was odd. Yeah, because he held them together, cut about an extra if inch. I hold it up, and now, cut it? Sure. Try it? And now, oh, I'm not sure. Now when we... Uh, Give me this. I'm going to cut it. Like, yeah, this I'll up. hold it for you. Oh! oh. <laughs> Trying to do this Ready. one handed. Yeah. Thank you. Our neighbor's playing his uh, good. That's enough. Good wholesome music over there. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get under it. It's like. Oh. I can't even see where. Oh, you're right there. I see you. Sorry, Bubba. Is that dripping on you? No. Nah. I don't think so. If it is, I don't feel it. Oh, I see. Right there. You want me to hold the pipe so it doesn't yeah, move? Yeah, Okay, yeah. let me... I was going to try to give you some light. Uh, I'm not so much worried about the light. I can feel it. Okay. Does that help? I think so. <laughs> oh, I got it over it. Huh? Did I get it over it? No. Uh, oh. I guess not. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Zoom in a little. Okay, yeah, you're on it. 
push that up. Can you push it towards the back? Yeah, like that. Yeah. I just lost them. I can't see. I'm on it, but I'm just not pushed down enough. Okay. Why don't we give it a second? Okay. Well, I think we might have cut maybe too much off now. No! Uh, some weird stuff's going on here. This is all we cut off, which is maybe an inch and a half. It could just be fine, maybe, because I don't have the clamp back far enough. And it looked like it needed to have a couple inches cut off. You played it safe, had me cut it right here, and now it's almost looking like it's not going to be long enough. What the hell? So we got it on to the pipe, we think, far enough. Now it's just a matter of getting that damn clamp. It's, this would be super easy if you just had room to put your hands, but it's so you, you can't even open your hands up to like put them around the pliers. <laughs> I was trying for a couple minutes. And uh, how long he's is, trying. is it just this bolt here and this that's holding the airbox on? Okay, there's a bolt here and a bolt here. If this was out the way... Okay, we'll pull, <laughs> we'll pull the airbox. <laughs> through right there no way it's true cold air yeah that's crazy look at this huh. I never saw it I mean, it will still come out but I was like I thought it was I was gonna take that bolt out but like it actually goes into the fender I never knew that check that out right into the freaking fender that is cool that true. is neat as hell is that a little relay oh that's an airbag something or other Whenever you guys, whenever you see yellow like that, that means airbag stuff, airbag wiring. So be careful whenever you see yellow. What do you need? I need like some flat cut. Oh, it's going, huh? Look at these big honking cables we got. Okay, we're on the battery. So we have a ba <laughs> battery that we don't know how charged it is, but we just set it out here. It's, it's like 30 seconds after the last cut, so yeah. we're just going to try it. I'll hold the switch down again. You can just do it from out here. Okay, should we try it again? Uh, or should we just crank it? Yeah, here, try it again. I'll just hold it down with this because it kind of hurts my hand. Ready? Yep. Depending on if that battery was any good. Did that fall Great. Off the I don't know. Did it? I heard something. It's not on there very good. Yeah. Screw that remote start. Just. Oh, I did hear a click. Yeah. It's probably the remote start. Uh, recycling it. Yeah. Hit it. Hit it twice so it shuts that down. I got the ding dong in here and everything. <laughs> yeah, that takes a lot of current. <laughs> Shoot. All right, so he's gonna pull his forerunner up here, and I uh, can't let those touch. <sighs> no, uh, I can't remember. We can't remember which side the damn battery's on on his Toyota. <laughs> what a poop show! It started, but because the airbox isn't hooked up and the mass airflow is plugged in, um, it's sucking air, but the mass airflow is registering that it's not sucking air, so it died immediately. Put it all back together, all of that stuff, and the airbox, and all that good stuff. But anyway, that's probably all I'll show of this, so maybe do a time lapse actually.
So now we got another issue. This thing, this is a Bose Forerunner. When you close this lift gate or tailgate or whatever, it doesn't latch on this side. And I think the reason why is this guy down here. It doesn't click. So, oh, no. So we gotta take a look at that. It's shut. Yeah, and it's bending. Yeah, so exactly. I wonder if we should so move we that need to, I was just going to say, we probably need to move that too. Because that's what's holding it maybe from not... Okay. Uh, this one, at least we can get up. Oh, oh man, that one doesn't even move. No. Oof. It's starting to go. Okay. That's this side's one. Yeah. <laughs> So, bud, I know my hands are nice and loose. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I'll say there's a towel next to you. Okay, okay. that's lubed. So should we W? Sure, W2 haul we'll this get thing. Get all over your window. Yeah, I know. I can roll the window up right now and then wipe it. Okay. Rest certain form in certain spots. <laughs> I don't know if it means right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just <laughs> hey, there, that looks like a roller, maybe. I yeah, know. I was thinking on the other side because on your window, like, didn't it didn't slide with the window, it was a scissor. Yeah, it kind of you know, it was supposed to. This whole thing might be one big, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm gonna take this out. Big old scissor lift. <laughs> what do they call that? Oh, yeah, it does look like it rolls, it goes back and forth, right? Doesn't it? Yeah. If it's a scissor, it has So to. I think this side only rolls to like right here, right. and then that side probably has like its foot. So yeah, yeah, if we could get in that rail somehow. And go down. Okay. Oh, shoot. Came out the hole. Got it. Okay, this is a weird, weird design, but tell you what it did. <laughs> you turn the key, it rolls the window down, and you can only open the back hatch by. Oh. Okay, it won't let me go up with it like this until we shut it. Oh, really? It okay, well, what if we trick it into thinking it's, it's shut? shut? Yeah. Look, there's two of them, though. Yeah, there's one. Did we ever get this one? To yeah. Click? Okay. Will it work now? No. Here, the beeping. Still not working. Oh. Somehow it knows. Huh. It must be a switch or something. something. Huh. Oh, that one wasn't clicked in. Maybe, maybe the other one isn't either. Okay, that one's oh, there it goes. Okay, now it's working. Oh, it actually moved a little bit. It's a lot easier. Cool. A lot easier, but it needs to be a little help. Okay, and you go back in a tiny yep. bit. Ready? Yep. Need more? Um, oh, oh. Did you see that? No. Did it just shoot it off? Of course. I lost my little hose. Let's see if it shoots so it, it out again. Off. Down with it or up a little bit more or down with it? Uh, can we get? I don't know. Can you see on that side? Can we get in?
You guys don't even like each other. What are you doing? You hate each other. Why are you? Oh, because the good smells from outside. Is that why? Yeah. Okay. What if I poke you? Are you going to get mad at him? If, if I poke you, will you get mad at him? He's going to get mad at you? He did it. No, he did it. All right, guys, I've been doing a lot of work off camera. I was talking to my mom and my brother, and it got dark. I think the last thing I filmed was these guys. Yeah, they're nice and cool now. Put them back in here. Okay. Um, I was talking to my mom. I went ahead and kind of masked this off. I It actually worked out pretty good. Tape is too flimsy to slide in between the gasket and the metal. But the liner from the vinyl actually worked out perfect. So I was able to use that for a lot of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit that with the bed, truck bed coating stuff. I really dig this stuff. And I uh, earlier, I went ahead and painted, let me show you, get stuff everywhere here. Uh, I went ahead and painted these couple coats. So they're looking good now. I'll, I'll try to get those on tomorrow. It's the uh, two front fenders. So anyway, those are ready to go. So give me just a second and I will paint this. All right, so it's drying. I had a little bit of an issue. Um, as I started spraying, for whatever reason, it was coming out really, really, I don't know if you can see that, really clumpy. And it would come out, and then it would start to almost not even spray at all. And I cleaned, I cleaned this, you can see, I cleaned it with alcohol, and it still did the same thing. It would like spray real good, and then it would just almost not even spray at all, so. I dug this one out of the trash can and popped the deal off of it and then it was after I switched them out it was spraying like a million bucks so anyway um, trying to show you the texture it's pretty good and this stuff dries really quick too yeah this liner worked like a champ for sneaking in between the gasket I mean the the weather stripping and the the body. I don't know if body was the right word. Uh, it's still wet. He wants to 
be part of our wrapping process. So we got everything clean. Yeah, I usually start like one whole side. Stretch it a little, pull over your corner, try to get rid of these ones, pull, pull more that way. Try to get rid of that. Rid of what? These lines. Okay, ready to go down? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, guess it does, back. I guess it does stretch pretty good though. Oh yeah, we haven't even stretched it. Go ahead and do that one. That's called glassing. When you get it to where it looks like it's done and you haven't even done anything yet. And then I started in the middle. What I did last time, which worked really well, was uh, Another, let's see that air bubble. Mm -hmm. You can work those out just by pushing them. See that? Yeah. Go on. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. That's the air release technology or whatever. I can do it on the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah, like we got to do the other side too, right? But it doesn't have these lines. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I can start working some of this. Yeah, just. Obviously, that part flattened out. Start on that next. There's another. Yeah. 
dip somewhere. Right there. See the angle I'm going at? So it'll kind of. You can try it without heat, just to see, just to feel it. Oh, that's that's my problem area from last time. This is the part that gave me all kinds of trouble last time. said it on camera but I was watching a guy earlier today and I don't know why I never knew this but until watching this guy um, apparently you get those little micro creases by not putting enough pressure and to me that doesn't even make sense but I guess it does because you're not getting all the air out um, but yeah, by not putting enough pressure, you end up with tons of creases everywhere. And when he said that, I was like, that's it. That's, what, that's my problem. Among other things. Uh, Jesus, Jesus was saying that he had a buddy that he helped wrap a Corvette. Yeah. And they almost gave up. Like, it was so difficult. And he was warning me about how bad it would be. And I was like, yeah, dude, but this is... A samurai is basically a fox.
good. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end it here. This is already a really long video. Did that shut? Oh, oh, right in the back. Anyways, this is what she looks like. Um, <laughs> yeah, the other half is still stuck in there. Yeah, it's <laughs> just broke. Where's your noodle was? I had, uh, I bought these impact rated Milwaukee number three bits and this one just shattered <laughs> the other half is still stuck in the door but uh anyways guys we appreciate you uh we'll see you very soon uh take care